really great as well. It has a little bit of like a honey scent, super light. <laughs> Just got done streaming and now time to walk the dogs. But then at some point my pillow gets pulled from underneath me and now I'm like, not really worth it in my opinion, so. I love rice, I love pasta, noodles, oh my goodness. Late night ramen craving. Mm, so bad. I'm trying to cut down on carbs, and I have been cutting down on carbs, but I think it feels like I didn't eat a lot of carbs today, so now I'm just like, I want carbs. I always have really chapped lips, and when I eat ramen, it's always, oh, it's so bad for me. Also, we're watching The Mummy right now. This was my favorite movie growing up in my childhood. Hey, folks, ready to go party? Are you done? Hello, this is gonna be me rambling and it's probably gonna be really annoying to edit but let's ramble on so last night, uh, Steve woke up around like 12.30. Uh, he's been doing this lately. Like sometimes if he really needs to go to the bathroom, he'll wake us up. So I took him out and my issue that I have with sleep is that if I wake up in the middle of the night, I usually have a really hard time going back to sleep. When I got back after walking Steve, I just had this really weird allergy attack where like my nose would feel really tingly. Then like I'll just have like a flood of just like nasty, yucky, it's not <laughs> coming out of my nose where it like runs, gets dry, I put Vaseline, it runs, gets dry with Vaseline. And dude, I was just like tormented with this. Oh my God, for about like, I think for like about an hour. So I decided to move to my living room area and it's warmer out here. But like when I came out here, I was trying to fall asleep and I was reading Lord of the Rings for a little bit. I couldn't fall asleep. I was up for, I think about like an hour and a half at this point. I finally get to doze off a little bit and then I start getting like this really annoying sleep paralysis. I don't know about you guys, but like sleep paralysis is usually supposed to be very rare. For me, I experience sleep paralysis like almost every week. It's It's been normal for me at this point. And that sounds awful, but like I think I just got used to sleep paralysis, so it's not as scary anymore. But yesterday was pretty freaky. So like for some reason, it felt like my eyelids were open, even though they were closed. It felt like I could see everything. And for some reason, I was getting really paranoid that there was like some weird light that was coming on the left side of my view. And I was seeing some shadows or something. And then I would like apparently wake up, look over, I'm like, okay, it's fine. And I would just keep waking up and looking over. But I think I was still dreaming. So I would switch off between like my dream state and then back into my like slightly awoken state. And later on, when I was laying, same thing, my eyes were closed, but it felt like my eyelids were open. I was laying, I could feel something tugging on my pillow. And initially I was just like, uh, that's probably something scary going on, but maybe I'm just overreacting. But then at some point my pillow gets pulled from underneath me and I was like, oh fuck. And so initially, it's just annoying, you know? It's scary, but more than anything, it's just annoying. But then I was able to fully wake up and I realized that my pillow was still there but it felt so freaking real. Oh my goodness. Anyone else struggle with sleep stuff? Mm. 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 <laughs> he doesn't know how to use his paws correctly, so he will use other objects to bolster up his little bones. It's so funny. He doesn't use his paws like Steve does. My makeup is all done. I'm gonna start streaming. Woo! <laughs> oh, I need a haircut. So bad. But I don't know where to get my haircut in LA because the other place that I went to where I got my hair dyed, and this is like during the pandemic, so I just cut my hair where I dyed my hair, but the place that I go to for hair color is really expensive. So naturally, the haircut was really expensive too, and it was just not really worth it in my opinion, so. I'm gonna try to see if I can find like a cheaper place to cut my hair in Chinatown or maybe like Alhambra or something. So if you guys have any recommendations in LA, let me know. <laughs> Just got
get done streaming and now time to walk the dogs. So I wanted to show you all how I take off my makeup um, at night. So I usually just take off my makeup immediately after I'm done streaming or after I'm done walking the dogs. It's a little bit late today, but it's okay. So this is one of my favorite makeup removers. I do the double, whoops, focus please. <laughs> Focus. If I block my face, maybe it'll focus. Yee! It's by Pharmacy Green Clean. So I do the Asian method, which is double cleansing. I wear waterproof makeup, and sometimes I wear like, you know, multiple layers of makeup. So I like to do a double cleanse because it feels more clean. It feels really good. So I'm gonna use a melt away balm. Melting my palms. I'm just... And I try to be gentle, even though like sometimes I'm like ah, but yeah, I try I try to be gentle, <laughs> especially around the eye area. Yeah, I have waterproof mascara on, so it just takes a little bit of massaging just to get it out. You just do one of these to go all up in there. Next, I'm gonna use another product of Pharmacy. This is the Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Cleanser. Um, I have pretty sensitive skin and sometimes it's prone to getting a little bit of eczema in my eyelids. And so I try not to use products that are too harsh on my skin. So this one's really great as well. It has a little bit of like a honey scent, super light. I love the smell of this one. So I'll rub it in my face a little bit and get any impurities that the balm cleanser didn't get. But the balm cleanser usually does a really good job. I just like to remove some of the oils from the balm cleanser, so this makes my skin feel really nice and clean. And again, I'm gonna use cold water to rinse it off. And by the way, these headbands are definitely a must. It gets the hair out of your way. And it's really easy to clean your face and stuff. Um, so some people use makeup wipes to clean off their makeup and stuff. I'm actually not a huge fan of those at all. I, I feel like sometimes when you're wiping away the eye stuff, especially like mascara, eyeshadow, you tend to end up wiping it a little too harsh, a little bit too like strong. There's too much like tugging motion in the eye area. Even if you don't even wear like heavy makeup or like waterproof makeup, I still feel it's like a little too much of like scrubbing and all that stuff. So I'm not a huge fan of the makeup wipes. I do like the double cleansing method. I've been using this method for about more than, I wanna say more than like two, three, four years. So this is my favorite way to do it. I feel your face is very clean, super refreshed, and it feels great. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna do some meditation, but usually when I do meditation, all my dogs come out and they start playing with their toys and start squeaking it. So we're gonna to try to be really quiet. <laughs> most comfortable place in my apartment <laughs> right here this is my dog's bed and this is my dog's staircase it's, it's just perfect and the cushion on here is oh my god oh amazing I actually sometimes spend time reading books here and just relax this one right here I really like the sound it reminds me when I was in Japan and we went to the Yamazaki distillery um, if you guys want to watch my really old vlogs when we were in Japan, definitely check it out. I rewatched them, man. They're actually pretty good. So go check it out. And you can see exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's so relaxed. Like, it's probably one of my favorite places I've ever visited. There's just one spot where I had, like, the outdoor areas, and there's a water pond, and the air was so freshening. There's greens everywhere, and honestly, it sort of reminds me of... <laughs> 